At Intel, world-changing ideas start with real solutions. And real solutions start with exceptional engineering, the quantum computing revolution, the next generation of AI experts, the renewable energy grid, early diagnosis for cancer. The examples are countless. The impacts are endless. But the foundation is always the same. It starts with Intel. Learn more at intel.com slash stories. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Team Osborne. Or actually, no, welcome to another extra. I'm not doing an episode. I did an episode yesterday, so I'm like, I'm just going to upload that episode and then upload this extra uh, whenever, I guess, a day when I just don't have time to do an episode. But anyways, um, so recently I have been getting comments from just the robot fans. Uh, and it might be this Twitter hater because it's... I really haven't been hearing anything since he's came into the picture. Like, literally everybody else has been, like, you know, silent. So, it could be him. It could be some Just a Robot fans that's just a little bit late to the party and stuff. But, um, they left some comments where it's, like, I don't know why they're telling me this as if I'm supposed to believe it or something. But, yeah, they're saying that Just a Robot is better than me. So, here's what I have to say about that. To his fans... If y'all want to believe that, go ahead and believe that. I'm not going to change how you feel. I'm not going to change your mind perspective of what you see from me and what you see from Just a Robot. If you want to choose to hear only one side of the story, do that. I don't care. At this point, I'm like, I, you know, I've, I've said what I need to say. I've proved myself um, right on numerous occasions, and there's literally nothing else that I can do. So that's why I'm like, it's honestly, at this point in time, it's just really all about focusing on my fans and keeping them entertained you know and that's like yeah and that's what i've been doing i've focused like i've given this like this whole situation like minimum focus versus all of my like other like you know projects and things i'm working on and that's like one thing that i wanted to say it's like why he's not better than me look how many videos that he's uploaded um throughout like quarantine and stuff versus how many videos i've uploaded throughout quarantine and I know people are going to say stuff like, um, you know, oh, he it's because he has more views than you. It's um, because he has more subscribers than you. So I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Like, look how many videos I've uploaded versus how many videos he's uploaded throughout quarantine. I've uploaded hundreds of videos. The month of August, I uploaded over 214 videos across all 20 of my YouTube channels. So that's why I'm like, I just don't, I don't really understand when they say things like that. And I'm like, I, uh, but... I know where it comes from. It actually, it came from me. So that's why I wanted to uh, bring to your guys' attention, like, anytime when these guys say anything, uh, whether it's a video or in the comment sections, it's literally the same thing that I used to say. Because I felt like at a point in time on YouTube, this is, like, way before I was, like, you know, on the whole, like, 20 channel, like, run and stuff, like, creating 20 YouTube channels and just posting a bunch of different content uh, every single day, but prior before, um, I had, like, only, uh, well, when I had, like, very first started beefing with these guys, I had, like, two YouTube channels, so, um, I didn't really have, like, a whole lot to, um, um, you know, well, like, a whole bunch of other things to, uh, focus on, I was, um, yeah, you know, I just, what, gave my focus on those two channels, but I was, like, that was easy, I'm, like, now I got 20, and it's, like, it's a tad bit challenging and things, it's not really, but I'm, like, you know, it's just, it, it's giving me, and that's another reason why I had to say that I created the 20 YouTube channels, so I can, like, kind of, like, step away from, like, the hating and the beefing and all of that. Like, I came here, the first thing that I wanted to do when I came into the YouTube platform was to entertain people. How I got caught up in beef, drama, and all of that, I don't know. But I was, yeah, I, when I very first came into this uh, platform, it was all about entertaining people. So that's why I'm, like, you know, beefing with them, like, every single day. I'm, like, that had to end at some point because i'm like i'm not trying to be like you know 60 70 years old still beefing with these guys on the internet and things so if i talking about them occasionally that's occasionally that's just talking about them but i'm not i wouldn't necessarily say that the beef is still going on or the beef is still strong and things like to me this beef is dead and i would prefer for it to just officially die so i can just be you know on my way and things and won't have to respond to a comment or respond to a video or uh argue with some racist dude on twitter or something so Anyways, um, 
But no, so back uh, like originally when this beef started, I know that that was one thing that I will always say to him is that I got more subs and more views than you. And so I think personally that his fans, they see that, that has said that back in the day. Because I, I think I said in videos, I said in comments and stuff. And because, um, yeah, Just a Robot, this dude was literally on my channel like every single day, like leaving comments and stuff. And I'm like, bro, go somewhere. Like, this is like, look at how sad this is where it's like you're that desperate for attention and things. Like, bro, get out of here. Like, you're a grown man. Go live your life or something. Go do something with your life. But anyways, um, but yeah, so uh, I, I was saying that to him because at one point I did have more subscribers than him. I had more views than him and all of that. And so uh, he beef i guess he beefed with the right people he talked about um about the right people and things and it really blew his channel up so that was about it that's honestly the only thing that he can show for is that he just talked about the right people and that he got more views and subs than me but does that make him a better youtuber or a person no it does not you can have and that's one thing like throughout the years of really just you know studying youtube and focusing on youtube and really giving like you know youtube my full like 100 percent like mine is that it's it never really was and i you know if i honestly if i could go back and just change how i was like speaking and talking it really never was about the subscribers and views it was all about how much content that person is providing onto youtube so in reality i'm like yeah this dude far less far less um better than me nowhere near as better than me when it comes to like providing content for fans and all of that until he can say that he uploaded over 214 videos in a month nowhere near nowhere near and then when, and if he does do that guaranteed i'll one up him and i'll do like a thousand videos in a month and i'm telling you and i know i can i know i could do that hands down i could do freaking a thousand videos in a month because it's to me i'm like yeah that type of stuff it's it's easy, you know, it's like I already know what I'm going to do. It ain't something I got to plan or have other people help me out in the situation. And that's honestly, though, like the only reason why people always claim that he is better than me is because uh, his um, he has a very loyal fan base. Um, but I've told my fans numerous times, I've told people numerous times, like, I don't need your help. You know, this is my beef. This is my argument. So that's why it's like it's like very minimum people talking about this situation because it's something where I'm like, you know, I wasn't like crying or you know, begging people to, you know, be on my side of things. I'm like, look, you want to be on my side, be on my side. If you're not, you're not. I don't care. I'm like, I'm just here, honestly, to just say what I need to. Because my thing is, like, I don't need nobody to speak for me or to talk for me. I'm like, whatever I got to say, I can say. So his, um, him, on the other hand, he can't say that. Literally, every beef that we've armed, like, every time we will like, or, like, phases of this beef that, you know, throughout the years and things, it's literally his fans that have been doing the talking for him. This dude can come out with a video and just say T-Moss Boss like once or just say I hate T-Moss Boss. His whole fans would be on that. But they have honestly nothing to say. They have nothing. It's like his fans can't come up with their own stuff to say. That's why I'm like when you see a lot of the videos that are made about me, it is literally the same video, just different people. So that's why I'm like, I don't know how these guys personally think that they're better than me. And it's like, it's, it's the same video each and every time. Like, you guys just, like, pick and copy, pick and copy. I'm like, that's, no. <laughs> I'm like, and I know people are going to say, like, uh, that, oh, my videos, because I, I know that it's, they always repeat what I have to say. They can't like that. You know what? No, I'm not going to say what they say. You, for one time, don't repeat what I have to say and say something different from what I just said in this whole extra. If you can do that, you might be a little bit closer on being better than me. But until then... I always see myself as a better person. That's just me, cause I'm not a fan of just a robot. I don't care about him, his fans, or his videos, or none of that. I care about what I'm providing onto YouTube. That's the only thing in my eyes. That's the only thing that matters. Providing what I can provide to YouTube, what my friends helping them out with what they got going on on YouTube. That's about it. Anything else, I don't care for it. So, anyways, um, yeah. I will talk to you guys later. It's been another extra. Thank you guys for uh, watching and or listening. Yeah, viewing this on YouTube, like, subscribe. If viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe. SeatGeek, uh, uh, make sure you guys use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It'll knock $20 off your first purchase. And I also um, have uh, a sponsorship um, sponsorship deal with Vasilo. So if you use my promo code TMOSBOSS, it'll knock 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I also have an ad on my YouTube channel where you can find a referral link and then check out some of the gear because I did post some of the gear in the YouTube video. So, yeah, you guys can check that out. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.